Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode we're going to take a look at Bullet Star. This game from Level 99 Games is, um, I guess, a sequel to the Bullet Heart and the Bullet Orange games, which I have and really like. Let's see what's inside this box right now. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, so the front of the uh, box has kind of a darker looking uh, cover than the other one. Is, I'm not dark, but just neon and uh, at night kind of thing. I do like the fact the back of the box shows you the game in play, tells you kind of what you're getting, and gives an explanation. So that's good. Box looks pretty thick. Well constructed here. <clears throat> And as we go inside, what do we find? Nothing special on the interior of the box. We've got the rule book. And I'm going to guess that it's laid out very similarly to the rule book of the first one. So it tells you your bullets. We've got the different heroes, how to set it up, how to make it work, gameplay, different types of modes, teams. All that good stuff. Score attack, um, boss patterns, boss battles, five to eight players, and then, uh, you know, solo game, and then just a bunch of their art, because the guy likes the art, and that's his whole thing. So that's cool. Got a little catalog here for uh, their 2012 games. Or, I'm sorry, 2022 games, pardon me. It looks like they're out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> place I used to live way back when. And a quick start, which is cool, just gets you right going. All right, then we have our characters here. So these are just little, um, I guess you want to say flyers about the characters, right? So they kind of tell you a little bit about them, give you an understanding of how they play, a little backstory if you're into that sort of thing. Again, the, the designer certainly is. And anybody who's interested in this theme certainly is. I mean, the theme doesn't do much for me, to be honest, but that's just uh, because I'm not a huge fan of that, that style. However, the gameplay itself is tons of fun. Tons of fun, in my opinion. Very easy to uh, play a couple games in a row. You can get yourself uh, smoked pretty good and just start right again if you want. And you can even do score attacks to kind of see how you're doing if you can't seem to beat the solo game. So there's those characters. We've got all of the uh, cardboard here next. Now in the original game, I did spring for some token holders to make it easier for these things to not wear down. I'm guessing I don't need this second set of tokens while playing this one since I have the original game, but I'll check to see if there's any difference. This is medium thickness cardboard here, pretty good, sturdy stuff. We have some new things uh, according to you know, the characters, and I'm sure these are all different and new as well. And then again, the intensity track here. All right, now we have the actual player boards themselves. <clears throat> these are on that thin um, plastic kind of board, right? So they're, I don't know, I, th I think it's plastic. It's like a laminate. So the, each of these things, you know, you have your normal when you play them, and then you have the boss if you wanted to fight the boss in that way. And they have, a, you know, different sides based on what they do, which I think is really cool. It just gives you so much variety in these games. And I would say that, you know, even though I'm not a fan of the theme, the artwork is fantastic. They obviously put a ton of effort into making it look like what you would expect from this kind of style of game. And I think that's cool. Each of these heroes will undoubtedly play very differently. And each of the bosses will fight very differently, which I think is fun. That's why I got this one. I have the other ones as well. It just adds a lot of variety and content to a game that's really fun to set up and play solo. And each of these different things changes the way you deal with the bullets as they come out. Um which I think is is uh, just, it's a fun thing to, you know, really dive into and figure out. 
So you can see there's plenty of characters in this base game here. So I shouldn't say base game, but this, this star version, plenty of things to explore. All of these are just fine. I guess this isn't this plastic. It's just, uh, it's just cardboard, my mistake. Thought it was gonna be that plastic based on the texture, but it's just, it's just very thin, you know, thin cardboard kind of board here, which is okay. As long as it doesn't warp, I'm fine with it. This feels a little bit more like, no, it's just textured cardboard. This is like cardstock, really. That's what it feels like right here. So anyway, you got four of these. That's kind of the different uh, things coming down as they go. All right. <clears throat> then we have the bags. Bags look like they're decent quality here. Um, they're kind of a rougher, not, not, like a, it's not like a soft silk, but more like a rougher weave, which is fine. You're going to be in these bags all the time, dragging stuff out, dragging your, your bullets out. Here's a main bag for the center. Looks like we've got some... Um, different wooden pieces here this time. I'm sure there's some gameplay elements that refer specifically to those. And then let's go take a look at the card quality. Now they did, they did shrink wrap these, which I don't love the shrink wrap because it sometimes causes the cards to stay warped or bent or whatever. Hopefully that's not the case here. Uh, I prefer it if they use like the old polystyrene wrap if they need to. But as long as they don't bend up on me, I guess I'll be all right. All right, as far as the quality uh, is concerned, they are thick, which is nice. They don't have a texture on them, but they're definitely thick. So I can see people who don't normally um, take care of their, their uh, sleeve their cards won't have an issue here. And, you know, basically what you've got going on is you've got the artwork of the player um, that you're controlling. And then each of these is a different pattern. And the pattern is something that you, you know, fulfill. And then when you do fulfill it, you can remove, um, the, the falling bullets that come down at you and, and uh, strike and add uh, damage to the bosses or, or if you're not playing solo, I'm assuming you just add damage to your other players and slide it over and they'd have to deal with that going down. The game went, you win the game if you defeat the boss by putting enough damage on them in successive rounds because you basically have kind of, um, they, they go through like a condition where if after like for every so many um, hits that successfully land, you know, you've got different um, amounts you do for each boss. And then after a while you would clear all the stages of the damage and get them and then you win. It's not very easy to do, but it's a lot of fun trying. So good card quality. Good components, very bright. I'm very much looking forward to playing it, which I will do very soon. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy.